Today in Baldur's Gate 3, we will be defeating our sister Orin in a duel, a 1v1 battle to regain our birthright, Bal's favor. In the process, we will also be saving our companion, Minthara, who Orin abducted from camp. This is part 21 of our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, and I just want to take a moment before we go on to say thank you so much for jumping back onto this playthrough. It's been a couple of weeks since the last episode. And just to give you a quick explanation, Bethesda, one of my favorite publishers, released their new roleplay game, Starfield. And I've been waiting many years for this game, so I just had to take a few weeks out to go and play it and experience it. We did a live stream playthrough of it, and I've really enjoyed the game so far. But now that's out of my system, I feel like I can actually come back to Baldur's Gate 3 and take my time with what is going to be the final episode to so just really enjoy the game, which is really, really important to me because Baldur's Gate 3 is honestly one of the best roleplay games I have ever played. Just one of the best video games I've ever played. And I say one-off because I like games for different reasons, but as far as storytelling goes and how well it's been written and how much passion has got into this game, I really didn't want to feel like I was just going to rush through the last episodes and ending just to get it out for you guys. It actually is really important to me that I got to just enjoy the ending and not feel rushed. So I hope you guys understand that. But hey, it's finally here and now we get to enjoy it and witness it in all of its glory. So drop a like on the video and let us begin. And also I almost missed this, but Displate has now released a bunch of official metal posters for Baldur's Gate 3 that you can grab from the link below in the description. They're essentially magnetized metal posters that you don't need to screw into the wall you can just stick the magnets on the wall and then put the posters up but there's a bunch of awesome new designs on there so i'll link them down below in the description if you want to check them out for yourself but now let's begin episode 21 now the last time we saw orin she abducted minthara from our camp and now we must save her we managed to convince her to have a one-on-one -on -one duel with us if we brought her lord gortash's head and we have now killed him and we have his head to bring her before we killed lord gortash he actually revealed that we were previously bows chosen but Orin took our place and orchestrated our fall from grace, and so we must naturally take revenge. But before we proceed to Bao's temple, I must kill one of his other assassins. So here we are in Baldur's Gate, and just over here next to the Baldur's Gate fast travel point, we have the quest to investigate the murders and chase down this serial killer who is clearly trying to win Bao's favor, and we cannot have any competition. Uglash smash. So we're outside this house right now, which is one of the targets on his list. Can we go ahead and enter? There's no point in knocking. We'll just barge right in. Hello there. Let's go on inside. Oh, hello. <laughs> Am I meant to be it's sneaking? It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, scissors. Nail files. So many cuts one couldn't make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, who am I to deny the auspices of destiny? For we are celebrating, Master Figaro. You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Baal. Together, we shall transcend. Stop right there, criminal scum. <laughs> Back off, that's my kill. Half orc, I loathe cowards. Come, death is too good for the likes of you. <laughs> no, should we continue stealthing? We've got to go with the half orc and call him a coward. That's just going to really trigger him. A challenger. My lord tests me. This piteous hovel will be your grave, challenger. Oh, there's... Oh my god, he's Savor gone. your final breath. Let's kill before becoming... Let's charm him. 
Is that gonna work? Another witness to my sacrifice. Damn, he's pretty powerful. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh, so all these people here are his followers. I can't believe Lazel got ambushed. Oh my god. They're paralyzed. Well, they're all gonna die, aren't they? And we're all blinded. Fantastic. Let's take this man with Shadow Heart. Then we can go ahead and heal ourselves. We can't see our glass. All of these guys are going to die in here before we even get to them. Oh, well. <laughs> go ahead and use Ice Storm over here. Oh, my God. Why have I walked into my own Ice Storm and hit myself with it? Interesting. Lazel can just start taking out all of these enemies. If we use Cleave, we can actually hit these two. There's one down. And then you. Oh, my God. Lazel missed. Let's go ahead and use Action Surge. You got to get rid of all of these guys as quick as possible. There we go. And you, son. Oh, he is tanky, though. Let's go ahead and jump over, see if we can actually assist everyone. Arglash Smash Searing Smite. Level 3 Divine Smite on Arglash. Wow. Gain plus one bonus to stealth checks in that red armor? I don't think so. When you land a critical hit with this weapon, it deals another seven damage. That's actually incredibly good. A plus two dagger, potion of invisibility, paralysis poison. What's in the handbag? Oh my God, he has all the hands. Let's take all of those. Space shunt boots, which lets you cast dimension door. The torn bloody page. Let's read this. The following text is printed haphazardly on a torn page titled Dirge of the Unholy Assassin. Is this meant to be some kind of writ to enter the temple or battle? Sicarius and a location. We shall find this candle hallowed place. Let's see if we can get over here and assist Gale and Lazel next. Who will be the first to die? You! Oh my god, you're on two health. Okay, this guy... We actually should be able to save them as long as this lady doesn't have critical hits. <laughs> of course. Go on, Lazer. Oh my god, what the hell? Let's get Shadowheart over going. here, and then we can use Sacred Flame. And damage. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Okay, Lazer, don't fall over when it matters. There we go. Now, why can I not attack this guy? What the hell? I can't select him. Okay, well, let's go and attack this guy. Critical here. Nine health left. Should be able to finish her off. Oh, boy. We were successful, but I'm a little bit confused about who this is and why he's like this. All right, let's go ahead and loot everyone. Ah, two. I don't know who you are, but I'm glad you were there. If it had been the dwarf alone, we might have stood a chance. But these doppelgangers, oh, they swarmed us. We were paralyzed before we even had the chance to fight back. Look at me, covered in blood. I wasn't going to let Delore kill you. Your life is mine. You fool. <laughs> so this is Baal's cruelty. <laughs> I underestimated it. Shadow Man Gale disapproved. Oh, where are your feet? Ah! You'll be the one to kill them, Gale. Don't know why you're running away. Kill her, Gale. Apparently, Shadowheart disapproves. You get her to go and do the final blow. Fantastic. Arglash, smash. Beautiful, look at that. What do they have on them? Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Where did he come from? Well, if I can't loot her, I'll have to pick her up and take her with me. Your bad behavior caught this guard's eye. What do you have to say? Well, I just slaughtered someone in front of you. Turn around and walk away. Trust me, you'll live longer. Mr. Beautiful Mustachio. Oh my God, we've got a 30. You've convinced them for now. Fine. But transgress again and no amount of talking will get you out of trouble. He's taking this really well, guys. All right, let's loot Sox, who has another murder masterpiece note. It's an honor and a privilege to watch this brother in Baal in action. 
The setup for this final qualifying murder is brilliant and meticulous. After its inevitable culmination, I will be thrilled to join the murder tribunal in acclaiming Dolor as an unholy assassin. And we got a tombstone shop key. I don't know what that's for. We can also loot this enemy who's still standing up. A bit confusing indeed. Uh, he's got a short bow. So now we've taken out that assassin, we must go back to the sewers. Stay away from the gate. So the, brain the approach is... unique, the form sloppy, but the passion for killing it was like sport. It would be remiss to ignore such talent. Would you like to be more than a common murderer? To become an avatar of slaughter? This man has 100 in stealth sneaking skills. Tell me what I must do, Bush. I know the thirst for blood. But you must kill with purpose, not for its own sake. You must kill once more. Choose from our list of most unholy sacrifices. Make them whole in murder. Remove your victim's hand. You will need it for what lies ahead. Good luck, aspirant. I trust we will meet again. Whoever you are, I'm sure we will. I have no idea who that was or where he came from, but he gave me a note. I've no idea where the note he gave me is, but we do have this note congratulating us on the murder of Gortash, which we can read from Orin. You have done well, underling. Boulder's gate gags on Gortash's gal, and your little pet still has eyes to witness it. Now, do your proper honor to the murder lord. You must submit yourself to trial in the murder tribunal. Remember, Sakaris. Succeed there, and you may find me in Baal's temple deep below the tyrant's rotting cobbles. In the unholy sanctum, the murder lord will watch our blood duel at last. I will keep your minion safe until then. Of course, by that she means Minthara, unless she misbehaves. Well, she is a very naughty girl, so I'm sure she will. So... Listen to me. If you go any further, the brain will dominate us. We are not ready. We should yes. heed the Emperor's warning. Should we save the game and do it? See what happens. I accept your challenge, giant brain. Let's just carry on. I won't turn back. I must go and see what lies beyond this gate. It's making me very hard for me to. If you will not listen to reason, then I must act on your behalf. How are you gonna do that? Dead. It feels like it's being crushed. If you stop fighting, you can deal with it yourself. We eventually got to a gate. Oh no, it spawns us back here. Well, apparently you can't get to the gate. The quest to impress the murder tribunal. We have taken the killer Dolor's sick trophies, the hands of his victims. We can use these to gain access to the tribunal. Or we've also killed Lord Gortash, so we can use that as well. I mean, I think we definitely belong in Bao's temple at this point. Go to the Candle Hollow tombstones to find the Bao tribunal. So it's all the way over here on the map. So let's go to Basilisk Gate fast travel point. All right, I also did a full rest in between and got a Starion to come with us as well. Single shiver, feeling barely perceptible, but you can sense it nonetheless. A phantom caress, hands dancing over your skin. Orin? Though you stand alone, it is almost as if the air itself is undressing you. Nice. You recall Harlep's words. Every time I make love in your shape, you will know. You will know. Enjoy the feeling discreetly. Shudder and shake it off. Try to ignore it and move on. Enjoy the feeling discreetly. As a blushing flush runs through you, you rejoice, anticipating all the pleasures you will feel without the world knowing. Constitution, stifle the moan that seeks to escape you. No, just moan. I heard that moan. It's the incubus, isn't it? Enjoying your body. I know what it's like to lose control over your own body. It's a wretched thing. I'm as well just trying to enjoy it. <laughs> it's not that bad. I can put up with it. <laughs> I thought the same once. It didn't last. I know what's done is done. You made your vow, but. 
I'm sorry. All the same. I feel guilty for enjoying it. Well, wow, let's head through here. Why is there a strange beggar? Why does he smell so much? Come to have a go. Give it your best shot. Oh, he's undead. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. Then you can hit me. 15 gold to hit him. Usually people pay me not to hit them. Tried that once. They took the gold and hit me anyway. Better this way. I still leave with gold in my pockets. So, you having a go or not? Hell yeah, let's do this. Here's the gold. Wait, I didn't get a hit him? Let's do a rush attack. Oh my god, we crit. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy moly, 73 gold. How is that okay? Well, I did, he did ask me to hit him. Now I've got to go over here to impress the murder tribunal. We've got the key to this gravestone store, which is actually just a front from what we now know. Where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. Cursed. Candle Hallow's tombstones, remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. So we've got the key to unlock it. What's in the mailbox? Is there anything cool? Speak your loss. Your name has been engraved, but the message beneath is clear. Should have left those orphans on the street where they belonged. This tombstone still bears dust from its recent engraving. Unwanted life, welcome in death. Your name here. Plan ahead so your relatives don't have to do it for you. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. So where does this go? The office. What's in here? That's curious. So there's a picture frame. I guess we can move. What's on the note? If you seek the tribunal, let death Never be your guide. For Lord but what is behind death but, but murder? Is this a bookshelf that I can move? Let's move the painting off the wall. Ah, oh, there is a button behind it just here. Yeah, and that does open the tribunal door. The locked door has red text on it reading... All are waited, all are embraced, none shall escape. Speak the phrase, Sakaris. It works. So apparently we're now in the ballast crypt. Let's have a look what's hiding here. There's a nice painting of the Imperial Fist parchment. Flaming fists this way. Surely not though. Or are they saying come over here so we can murder you basically? We can go down this way as well, but there is a door through here into the tribunal chamber. And there's a chest, an elegant chest indeed. Just here, with 37 gold. Ah! Wait, what? Okay, there it is. That was a very delayed flame effect. Let's go back around there, shall we? Try not to burn to death. Okay, let's just go into the tribunal before I walk into another trap. Ooh, this is a nice rug. Hello there. Present me well from gifts thine own, or what? I shall rend thy flesh from bone. Will you now? I killed to be here, and I took the victim's hands as proof. I offer myself. There is no finer offering than the poison fruit of Bao's loins. Yes. To passion's brash, thou art a slave. This sinful ground shall be thy grave. Who are you? I guess we kill you then. The Death Knight. Let's use an arrow of many targets and sneak attack. Spill some blood. This guy. Ah, oh, we got crit. Wow, they all get crit as well. Use Guardian of Faith just over here. <laughs> and we'll go and stand here. And our turn. Let's cover the whole ground in ice. Oh, yes, beautiful. And turn. They've all fallen over. And he's blinded. Why is he even blinded? I really want that armor, though. 
All right, Uglash, it's time to smash. I have a 51% chance to hit the one on the ground. Let's get this over I think over we'll go with. for this one. Why am I immune to pro? I mean, I'll take it, but I don't know why. Oh my god, big damage. Then we'll push him back off the ice and step back here and our turn. This room will be thy resting place. We'll see about that, buddy. Oh boy. Sonic backlash. Oh, why does he always attack Gabe? Like Master's health. Please fall over. Try and take out their leader. Wait, we missed. All right, let's use Turn Undead on them then. Oh, they all saved it. Great. Let's just protect my black Catch oh. this fire. Nice. Okay, so they can now walk because it's water on the floor. Critical miss. And he takes 15 damage in return. Oh my god, how many attacks do they get each? Why is Backlash doing his own thing? What the heck? What is happening? Apparently I'm compelled to duel. I don't know why I'd fight. Again, beaten up. Man. Holy moly. Almost dead. Quick this Darin. Sneak attack. He's only got eight health left. Push him into the grease. Use guiding bolt shadow heart. Plenty damage. Nice. Get wrecked. And then we can set oh, fire to this greasy hot. boy. Nice. There we go. They're all dead. Don't worry. Run in the fire. Don't run in the fire. Don't run in the fire. Good, good, good. Okay, let's quickly... Oh, Blackguard's plate. 19 armor. Dude, that looks really cool. All incoming damage is reduced by one. Advantage on wisdom saving throws and disadvantage on stealth. It looks pretty cool, the armor set. The Blackguard sword. On hit, infused with one of your smites, the target must succeed a constitution saving throw or become dazed. That's pretty good. The shield of Undervout. Your foes have disadvantage on saving throws to resist your spells or actions that inflict fear. That's incredible for my Oathbreaker Paladin. And we also have the key to the Murder Tribunal. This guy had the Blackguard gauntlets, which which gives you the ability to use inflict wounds and plus one attack and this burnt body has the greaves you gain long strider movement speed increased by three meters i might as well go and long rest again before we continue all right let's head on through these doors whoa where is everyone i was expecting a welcome home party what is this this is disrespectful. Okay, there's multiple ways we can go left and right. And also there's another way. But either way, let's go ahead and enter. Hello there. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But you are no mere aspirant. I did not expect to see you again. So it is true. You have returned. Saravok Anchev, a Baal spawn who failed to become chosen long ago. Spilled stain of father's divine essence left out to dry. Is he your cousin, great uncle, brother even? Baal's bilious waters are always a little murky. Dude, this is awesome, man. I wish to become the unholy assassin. Show me the way. You seem to know me. We met before. I have heard it said you lost your memories. Let me revive them. In times past, I was Baal's deathbringer. His acolyte. And you, his favorite child. You worshipped him the way that he would wish. Your bloodlust innate. Your thirst for butchery. 
unslakeable. But you were foolish enough to think yourself untouchable. You didn't see Orin rising through the ranks. You were blinded by her artistry, her devotion. You believed she worshipped you as much as all the others. Your fall was as spectacular as your birth. The purest ball spawn there ever was. Ruined by his own hubris. But now, you have returned. Tell me, are you here to have your vengeance on my granddaughter? Oh, damn. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how's he going to take this? <laughs> I've come to slay her. Where is she? Orin is your granddaughter? No, Saravok. I am here to slay you. No, I want to join. Let's ask about Orin being his granddaughter. She is the child of my child and your blood kin. But she only seeks the body and favor you were born to inherit. She may have usurped you once, but all her rites and rituals will never match her to your natural gift. Baal is about to name a new chosen. All is between you and my granddaughter Arin now. And Arin has much to learn. Our Lord does not care for beauty. Baal cares only for death. Death in numbers. Death in droves. Yes. It is a lesson Arin will only learn in death. I wonder if you will be the one to teach her. There are so many interesting dialogue options here. Oh, you know, when I went away from playing Baldur's Gate 3 to other RPGs, I was immediately like, none of the dialogue options just feel like I can say anything I want to say. Like, I'm going to really impact people's emotions depending what I choose. I can step aside for Orin? No way. You want me to kill your own granddaughter? Just to be straight. She wronged me. In killing her, you honor our father with a eulogy of blood. I have heard of the duel Arin proposed to you. She seeks to sacrifice you in our father's temple. She dreams that your corpse will be her masterpiece. But she forgets. Before your incident, you were the true master. You were murder. Pure murder. No excesses. No pretensions. I believe you will be the one to slay Arin. And when you do, remember Grandfather Saravak. Remember how he helped you. Return to visit him and tell the blood-drenched tale of your victory. We have a sacrifice prepared for you, child of murder. Let us celebrate your becoming. Yes. Remember Uncle Sheravok. <laughs> oh, I love it. Where is the sacrifice and is it down here? Okay, cool. Oh, there's a secret passageway there. And a button. Ah, that leads to the sacrifice chambers, does it? It's very nice. Okay, before we go down there, let me go and sit in this throne. This is a sick throne. A throne of bone. There's also a door this way and a chest uh, with some loot, which I obviously take. And Mason's journal, what does that say? Never in all my years of my craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man. He has trapped me here during the renovations. While he says I am free to leave after the work is done, it'll matter this god awful smell. I am no fool. Yeah, he definitely died here. Okay, good to know. All right, let's continue onwards. Oh, wait. <laughs> this stupid elephant is here. <laughs> Look at him. I like how he's got the little pipe in his mouth still. That's hilarious. Oh, I'm excited for this sacrifice. 
Come, child of Baal. Offer thanks unto your father for your birth. And in so doing, be reborn anew. Yes. Slaughter this celestial being. Spill its blood into the void. And through eradication of its goodness, be exalted. I honestly found this stupid elephant creature insufferable, so I am excited to kill it. It will make a fine pair of ivory daggers. Can you actually use its tusks to craft into daggers? That would be really cool if that's a unique item you can get from it. I shall play a symphony of screams with its trumpet to strangle it with its own trunk. Yes, yes. Spare no violence for the Dreadlord's grace and savor every moment of the creature's slaughter. Wait, is this gonna be a challenge? Just take it out, Siren. Oh my god, he's great. Someone will stop you, Barlist. When they do, I hope it hurts. I'm gonna vampire by him. Ah, citizen, stop this at once! <laughs> end this. Oh, Shadow Heart's ready. Let's make this quick. Ow! Everyone gets what? to go. Please stop. <laughs> the is assured. Got 18 health left. Kill. Incinerate. Double. Behold, yeah. Father Baal, your lost child, bathed anew. Arise. Unholy assassin. Yes. A Baptist of blood. His most unholy will be done. I love a jam, man. <laughs> Look how evil our glass looks. Take this amulet, child, and return it to your father's chamber. You are the true inheritor of his will, and he would smile to see you wear it. Cleanse the temple of Arin's girlish shrines, and bring your primal slaughter back to Baal. There is nothing more I can teach you. But if you bring about her death, return to me. We shall revel in the divine memory together as family. The liturgy of Unholy blood. assassin. It does have a certain ring to it. Death of innocent investigation priorities. Ah. Oh dear. Amulet of Bow, we also have. Everyone gets a blessing. Everybody gets a blessing. First blood. On hit, inflict bleeding upon the targets that have maximum hit points. Oh yeah, we've got to put this on. Now we must go and open the Temple of Bow and confront Orin. I don't actually know how we get there, but this seems to just be the murder tribunal area. I love how they're all just sitting here. Can seems we sort like of a good moment again? to talk. Welcome to our cause, unholy assassin. May your service to Baal be savage. Yes. Hail, unholy assassin. You have fulfilled a fraction of your blood's dark promise. You are learning it takes more than birth blood alone to become a consecrated killer. It takes belief. It was known to those who walked this path before you. Common killers. Children of murder and would-be gods. And now, it is known to you. Common killers? Bal ought not to consort with anyone but his own elect spawn. You are all blood-blind butchers and have forgotten how to meditate on your murders. Tell me, do any of them feel as good as your first kill? Every kill is a euphoria. But it wanes compared to the first. I have spent much time contemplating this. I am Amalesan, the Black-Hearted. 
I stood as Baal's high priestess, his eternal sucker, until I sought to usurp him. His eternal sucker? Did you graft spawn with him? Such a question Saravok must ask me thrice a year. <laughs> he deludes himself with suspicions of living spawn from my womb. There are none. The devotees of death, you of his line are so basely fascinated with propagating new life. It ever seemed to me an impurity in the doctrine. It was my triumph to die among the stars in the astral plane. It was a fine death. Perhaps the best. Man. Tell me, Balspawn, how do you wish to die? When I am the last man alive in a dead world, and I will slit my own throat. Jesus. You really are the most perfect of his children yet born. You know there is no being alive Baal will not claim. The ultimate victory in his war is to strike the last killing blow ever to be struck. A sorry thing. There will be no audience left for your finale. That's the entire point though, isn't it? A fresh unholy assassin and one of Baal's own blood. You are to be commended. Though I expected nothing less from a child of murder. Who are you to command me? We are his justices. We preside over his most profane tribunal forevermore. I am Illicera the Quick, child of Baal, slayer of his idle children, cut down before my time. Can't be that quick if someone cut you down. <laughs> You speak with arrogance, one that is familiar. The same arrogance has slain many of Baal's chosen. Do not repeat our mistakes, unholy assassin. Today we witness near perfection, Baalspawn. Your blood was foul before, but now you are twice tarnished. The unholiest assassin. Father shall yes. be proud indeed. Go to him and present your sister as an offering. There isn't a moment to lose. Gotta go please daddy. If I fell from my position at Bao's helm, why am I still worthy to become chosen? I remember the first time you set foot in the tribunal. Fallen paladin. Coated in the blood of your order. Pure corruption. I knew you would go far. You don't recall all the wrong you wrought at the temple. Champion of the underworld. But one matter is undeniable. You belong to Baal. He manifests within you. And you are a truer vessel of his cruelty than even the Slayer could be. The thwarted dream of two centuries ago. For father to walk the plains again. You are the one that can revive that dream. While Baal receives tribute through Arin, he lives again through you. I shall be his very body on this world. And tribute is not enough for our lord. She dies. Go now and do what I could not. Go to the heart of the slaughter and be the last to live. The temple is beneath the city where all blood spilled is drained. Cleanse the temple of Arin's girlish shrines and bring your primal slaughter back to Baal. Amazing. Let's speak to this guy. Spawn. You speak to another of your fallen family. It is heartening to see a child once again brimming with promise. <laughs> All us wretched specters, Baal's failures, 
are watching your rise with great anticipation. In life, I was a Barzigal, kin killer of the five. In death, I serve our father still, until the world grows silent. I offer you instruments which will aid in enacting your foul whims. Nice. Never heard of a dragonborn bowspawn before. I am no half-blooded drake. Alive, I was a dragon of pure cerulean chrome. But oft the need arose to disguise myself thus. Yes. Father Baal mated with a true dragon. Pray one day you have the honor of doing the same. Sorry, what? Tell me of the five. The five. My order of father's spawn were among the first to carve the philosophy that Saravok's death began. We led our worship by killing the weakest of our own line, writing kinslaying into the cannon. We hunted down his insipid fledglings in droves until we were all that was left. All but Saravok's own murderer, who murdered me in turn. Well, show me your wares. Ballast gloves. Wrap a shadow rope around a humanoid creature's throat to start degarreting it for three turns. Ballast armor. Enemies within two meters become vulnerable to piercing damage unless they're resistant or immune to it. That's pretty damn good for assassins. Assassin Bal's cow. You can see in the dark up to three meters and you get plus two to your initiative rolls. There's also some good poison I can buy. Very good, sir. I'll Bring take your deaths poison. for Baal. Hallowed child. Here we go. All right, let's go through this door and see where it leads to finally. Is it just some kind of crypt, like sleeping area or something? There's some prisons here. An opulence chest with some gold for me to take. Boots something good and here. Another chest and also a legacy ledger, whatever that is. Herein are logged the blood requisitions, the corpses' wealth of our sacrifice, taken from their dead hands. A detailed financial log of loot from the dead targets. Alright, so I'm on the upper city again, near the Boulders Gate fast travel point, and just down here we can find the manhole, back down to the undercity, so we can go to the Temple of Baal. So, we're in the lower city sewers, to the Temple of Baal's over here. Okay, we're gonna go all the way to the north. And I think we can probably get over here somewhere by taking that route because the other one was a dead end. So let's head all the way down here. Oh, look, there's an absolute cultist down here as well. There's nothing of use on him. He's a dead man. The sewers are massive though. Something over there. Oh, hello. What have I found? A loose stone with some rings and thieves tools. Okay. Useful. Ah, this must be it. Look at this, the Undercity Ruins. That is Bao's mark if I've ever seen one. So, this is the Undercity Ruin fast travel point. There's also a temple door. Who's this guy? Hello there. The penitent looks at you silently, expectantly. Do we say Sakaris? You're running a shop here, aren't you? <laughs> the penitent doesn't respond holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Shall we trade them? There is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. I like this guy. That's that's a cool conversation. He's got the armor of moon basking. You get 22 temporary hit points after casting wild shape and plus two armor class and advantage on saving throws against spells while you're in wild shape form. Dude, that's incredible. Bone spike helmet. Fury of the Marrow. When you rage, hostile creatures in a three meter radius must succeed a wisdom saving throw or take two to eight psychic damage. Penitent blinks, you think. You were dismissed. Really cool. I like it. goes that. nothing. There's a book here with light bandits alight and saloon talking about the different gods and a passageway. I don't know where that passageway leads, but. We're going to go into the temple no traps, and please. I don't know what. Oh, it's a skull. OK, let's open the door. A rush of ancient whispers fills your mind as you approach the door. It is rife with magic. Old, deathly magic. A new vessel brimming with blood darkens Baal's door. To baptize his dais most holy. Do you have proof of your faith to our Lord? Do you know who I am? Baal has created me above all others. 
open for his prodigy. Then you must know the way. Present the symbol, proof of your father's favor. Here is the amulet of Baal. Proof of faith held in worthy hands. It is as the Dread Lord requires. Walk in blood. Ah, so cool. And now we go into Baal's temple. Who's Justin? His free daggers. Apparently two wasn't enough. To gain admittance to Baal's temple, you must cross Manslaughter Chasm. But if you are weak, like this aspirant, the Farseer will deny you passage. Defeat him or die. So there is a trap afoot, I assume. Maybe Let's get we going. can just use this potion of invisibility on Uglash. Let's go into stealth mode and drink the potion. Have to keep going. Perception failed. Okay, so that's the ambush. Perception failed again. There's a door here carry on walking i don't want to use the potion up how do we get into the actual temple as an a campsite there what's up here there's another ladder up there okay you can climb all the way up to the top reminds me of uh, moria oh and so there's a sacrificing platform here so there must be some kind of puzzle but there's another area up here you can access all right let's go ahead and get star into sneak mode it won't let me sneak here for some reason so if i send a starian down here oh okay the heck? The trial begins. Oh my god, what the hell? An arrow of fire. So Starion's just gonna get nailed by arrows, and now people are turning invisible. <laughs> so this is the ambush, eh? Oh my god, how many attacks do they get? And then they go invisible, so I can't hit them back. Okay, great. Jesus. Are you done? Wait, 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 wait. They just keep taking turns. The Starion's not even getting to go... He's literally going to die. Okay, now he gets a turn. Dude, that was crazy. Okay, this run way. run away then. Okay, Uglash is the only one not in combat. Can he attack this guy? Far Slayer. He has 68 health and he is Death's Gatekeeper. I'm going to use Branding Smite. Oh, we got a crit. Wait, does... What? Why has it only done like four damage? So I'm just going to get attacked by invisible people. I thought I was being smart by going invisible. Okay, now this guy's teleported away from me. They're still, they're just going to kill me. Uglash is almost dead. So we're going to have to go back down here to get to the summoner. Pretty sure killing him will end it. Let's go back down. Can I actually reach him? No. Wait, what the hell? Initiative two. Wait, so where did she come from? Okay, I'm going to transport into the Slayer. So I can survive. She's going to come and attack me. Wow, okay, Uglash instantly dies. Okay, let's reload because this is stupid. All right, so I'm going to throw an invisibility potion into all of us and drink an invisibility potion. And now we're all invisible. So what are we going to do now? Can't see us. Looks like an ambush. I smell a trap. Yeah, there's definitely a trap here. I can tell you that much. Right, so let's get all everyone over here. Go up the ladder. And then we should be able to get to these guys who are stealthing on top of this rock and kill them all. Ideally. Meanwhile, we help the summoner with ranged weapons. Oh, okay. Well, the invisibility ran out, so we're in combat. Oh, we get surprised as well. Oh, no. Please don't fall off the cliff edge. They're all focusing a star in. An 18 critical hit. It's just instantly dead. This this fight is honestly ridiculous. Okay. So he's using the kill ability, and they're all invisible again anyway. Shadow Heart's almost dead. Oh, the star is completely dead. Nothing I can do. I haven't even taken a turn yet. This is so stupid. Let me know when I can play the game. And I, they're all invisible as well, so I can't even play. And what are you going to do to them? Shadow Heart's going to be dead. Okay, I can charm one of them. Okay, charmed. Nice. And he's just going to go invisible, isn't he? Oh, look, he's, he's broken. Okay, so I'm going to use Blade Barrier. And I'm just going to put it all the way across here so it hits this guy as well. 
Like, oh, I should have moved our glass back. Let's summon a spectral weapon just here next to this guy. And we'll just walk down here so Shadowheart doesn't die. So the Farseer of Baal has four ritual chants and five unstoppables. So if we examine this guy, unstoppable. Reduce the next damage taken by the entity to one. So that's why we only did one damage to it. And he has five of that. So if I level five cast or level three cast magic missile, can we get rid of it in one go? Three, four, five. Does that work? Yeah, he no longer has unstoppable. So now we can do normal damage to it. Can I push this guy into... Nope, didn't work. Okay, I don't want to give him a free attack. Uglash, though. Push this guy with a 70% chance off the cliff. Misses, obviously. Right, just hit him then. Oh my god, come on. It's impossible to kill anyone in this game. He takes more damage from the blades being there. And he's invisible. Yeah, great. Well, where are you going to move? Okay, that one dies. Great. He's teleported away. Blaze, oh goodness. Shadowheart's going to bleed out, I think. Let's send Gale down here. He's completely out of range, so I guess we can just dash with Gale. Right, Shadowheart's going to have to drink a mega health potion. We can use Shadow Port teleportation to get over here. Okay, this guy also died to the wall. Great. And there's one left. Soon he'll just go invisible now. Oh, he's dashing. He's walking through the wall and saving it. Okay, that might be annoying. So let's send Gale down the ladder. Just about in range. Nice. He's got 19 health now. He can't actually reflect any more of our damage. Shadowheart, drink another health potion. You can come down here and start shooting this guy. 13 damage. Just about hit him and finish him off. Oh, we got a crit. We don't need a crit, though. Oh, nice. So I don't know what happens now. But we can start shooting this lady on the floor. Erect. We missed. She's lying down. Okay, she's getting up now. Hopefully she falls over on the ice. Maybe. Or not. She just... Oh, my God. There's so many guys in here, too. Get this axe in combat. It misses. 80% chance to miss, you mean? Yeah. 23 damage. Let's use sacred flame on her. 11 damage, not bad. We get Uglash to jump over Shadow Heart and attack. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. Instant kill. Okay, so they're all dead. Was that everyone? What did the Fey Slayer have? Nothing. So this is not the entrance, but there is a wooden chest here. And nothing else, apparently. So I think we've passed the trial now. Can't see any more enemies. I assume we can just go through this door, which is locked. Oh, it's locked. Astaria, can you please lockpick this? Oh, wait. Withers, my bona fide friend. Can you please restore Astaria? There he is. He's back. 27. That'll do it. Swift as my feet hey. can carry me. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. There's my a chest traps, here, though. And it looks like someone was hiding here. Uh, a scroll of freezing sphere. We'll take that. Might come in handy. Where does this go? This might be the entrance of the temple. Okay, so apparently the entrance is over the bridge and through this tomb door. And then it's on the right here. There's actually a door which I completely walk past. Let's go inside. The Lord of Murder shall perish. Why does it sound like a child? The Lord of Murder shall perish. What does it mean? But in his doom, he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Damn, look at this place. I guess that is the entrance of the temple. Holy moly. So there's a whole village down here as well. I don't know where this route down here goes. Let's quickly explore this alternative path here. Okay. So this actually takes us all the way to a boat. Oh my god, there's so many rats. Cranium rats. They swarm when an elder brain is near. We must be close to its hiding. No way, really. Maybe we can... Turn back. We must have all the nether stones before we approach the brain. Ah, okay. So now we know about that. That's interesting. So we will come back here. But for now, let's retrace our step. Back to the overlook and onwards to challenge Orin. There's multiple ways Chaos down. Will be sown from their passage. 
jump scared me, man. Jesus. Let's go to the left. There's loads of bodies here. I'm assuming there's some kind of trap, right? Says, arranged with some intent. Yeah, but what intent? So Amelison the sixth. Didn't we meet her spirit earlier? The effigy of Emelison, who grasped divinity. What use her betrayal? Yeah, it is. She thought herself perfect, but forgot the one she served. Below, an exaggerated signature written in blood and signed with Orin. So these are all of Bao's previous potential chosen. And we actually met them all in the tribunal. I wonder if they were all killed by Orin or what. There's another little secret chest up here, actually. Nothing really of note here. She's literally lined the walls with skulls. I like the decor, I must say. We'll take all of that. That's mine now. So we can also go down here. There's another chest. And then we'll go across the bridge to the temple itself. I feel like at this point in the game, the stuff I pick up is just like, meh. You know, I don't really need these random item chests because I'm so powerful already. We got to the ancient sigil. Houses down here as well. This used to be like an underground town of some kind. I can't believe this whole temple of Baal is underneath the sewers here. Let's cross the bridge. They've lit the way home for us. Oh, look, it's our butler. Scleteritus fell. Hither, oh, hither, my hot shot champion, raring to slay. Indeed. Oh, master, master, master. You have come home to your royal dwelling. <laughs> But why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Odin told me to allow your passage, but if she hadn't, I would have been naughty and slipped you inside anyway. You're telling me I went through the whole tribunal when you could have just opened the door? Yeah, I would have told you so, but didn't dream of interrupting when you were enjoying yourself so. Mm. I was. Bashing the Hollyford's wormy trunk was a particularly refined deed. What were you doing this whole time? Ah, the temple is all tidied and ready for your worshipful act of mortal combat. The eye sockets of our graven god's icon are all polished up, ready to glow menacingly as you bludgeon your sister to death. <laughs> Oh. I've restacked every pile of skulls and mounted more skeletons on the walls for a cozy touch. So you've seen Orin then? We are unfortunate bunkmates, as she refuses to leave your estate. Every day she kills me as I'm trying to beautify the temple for your return, up to thrice some days. Being killed by you is so much more pleasurable, Master. Why does he keep coming back from the dead? I don't, I'm not really familiar with his lore, but I'm intrigued by his character. Very well. Open it. A thousand succubi could give me no greater delight. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful. Don't slip. <laughs> Is that the puddle? Homecoming. We are inspired. We should probably short rest because this is going to be a nutty encounter. Here we go. Bal Temple. I am home, Daddy. Oh, look. That's Minthara. Barely visible in the distance. Let's What's speak to this discussion? person here. They say you will fight her. Lady Orin. Will, will you shatter her skull? Break her bone. Break. And you, are you more sane? Speak not. Silence is precious to die for. And Lady Orin is already too loud, always talking. She speaks of you, of a duel. Are you going to choke her prattle away? Make her quiet for us? Yes, quiet. I hear you are to duel Lady Orin. If it pleases you, child of murder, I would have her carcass once you're finished. Why? Oh, nothing untoward. I simply wish to flay her. Oh, such skin she has. 
Oh, so fine and malleable. Oh, what a trophy it would make. Damn, girl. I should have told her yes. What's this skeleton here? Oh, Marsha's wedding vows? Stiv, when I called you to elope, I meant for us to be together eternally in the only way my faith allows. This dagger, the sacred mark of my lord, is our witness, priest and officiant. With it, I die by your side and you by mine. Offer up your belly or flesh so that I may rend it. So what's this? Another sacrifice for Lord Val? I'm not sure why you wouldn't let us be wed in Ilmata's temple, but oh my glimmering ruby garnet, I have loved every wild night and day with you. Here's to decades more and lots of bounding stiviots and marshlings. Oh dear. That's a bit of a, a turn of fate for him then, I guess. Hello there, Val cultists. The stone trembles at your presence. Baal is watching. So is Orin. We are waiting. Another unholy assassin. The prodigal child returns to jewel Lady Orin, no less. I normally abhor theatrics, but that'll be quite the spectacle. Quite, quite indeed. Down we go. Orin's victim. Wait, is Minthara alive? These Look, your savior approaches. <laughs> See how it crawls towards us? Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Carrying the tyrant's rock. I said I'd leave the blood inside. Mm, but it smells sweet. And the blade was made to slice. She craved. Gortash is dead. And Thara is not yours to kill. What have you done to her? Kill her, she has nothing to me. Apparently Larian added more dialogue to Minthara, and I want to see what this is. What have you done to her? Nothing. Not a hair out of place. <laughs> but when we're through, I'll dress your corpse in its skin. You still don't remember, do you, Bloodkin? <laughs> How you screamed as my knife slit your skull. Your brain juices. Sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. A straggling memory rises. Day your tyranny should have engulfed this world. It was you who were the first to be enslaved. Orin's smile was the last thing you saw. Her bright blade glinting as she chiseled into your skull. Her reckless digging left your mind shattered. She robbed you of your bloody birthright. Reduced you to nothing. Nothing but pure heat. And now it burns, yearning for vengeance. Yes. Husk, maggot, a ball spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the murder lord's blessing. And you do. He's already made me his slayer. I will be his chosen. Usurper, when I reclaim my rightful place, you will see the power I hold. Show Orin the splendor of Bal's favorite. Call upon the Slayer. I want to challenge her because she just gets so angry. So you think you deserve the Murder Lord's blessing? My grandfather rules this city. A slaughterhouse ripened for my blades. And you stole it! Enough! 
Enough! Enough! The runt must be cold. Come close, my death's heads. But keep your blades unblooded. Bar demands a jewel. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining, dying. Drip, drip, drip. The changeling stands no chance, Fetish One. Eviscerator. The murdered lord's blessing will be mine. Once I peel the skin from your carcass. Damn, that is cool. demands a pure blood spirit. But if anyone interferes... Oh, you're gonna go invisible, are you? Can I use Mind Blast? I know she's somewhere around here. Oh, I'll hit Minthara. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's move here. Mind Blast. Show yourself. Oh, no. I, ac I accidentally hit everyone. Okay, one sec. We got to reload. I want this to be a duel. At least we can now show Orin the splendor of Val's favorite. Call upon the Slayer. Changeling stands no chance, fetish one. Damn, that's still very cool. Bow demands a pure blood spirit. Here we go. If anyone interferes. Watch it, folks. Let's examine her and have a quick look here. So she's got Jewel Murders Chosen. The dark urge is compelled to fight Orin alone. The duelist cannot be forcibly moved and any interference from other parties will be punished. Okay. Murderous Strike. Orin's bloodthirsty inheritance grants to her Deathbringer Assault after attacking five times. What does that do? Deathbringer Assault, 21 to 210 damage. Channel a legacy of murder, making seven strikes that each deal three to 30 piercing damage. Oh, okay. Let's use multi-attack on that. One critical hit. 31 damage. I'm going to use Restless Lunge to try and drop her over. Which she's saved. Pretender, will watch you die. So she's now at four murderous strikes. Damn, we're destroying her. Let's try and drop her again. She saved it. Oh, no, no, no. I hit Minthara. My bad. Sorry, Minthara. So she should be able to use Deathbringer's legacy next turn, and she's like pumped for it. This will probably end up killing me, but, but we'll find out. Get wrecked. Oh my god, she's still attacking me. Okay, so it almost killed me. Let's go for Bloodbath attack. Yes. She saved it though, so we didn't get any healing off it. Restless Lunge. Ooh, she's gonna kill my Slayer form. Die. Grovel at my feet. Chosen one. <gasps> he is near. He comes for you. Okay.
Is Bal going to possess him? of his affection for you or confirmation that he owns you what gift does the lord of murder propose my slayer you will grow stronger crueler the prime incarnation of murder what would you have me do with this gift domination slaughter Mountains of corpses, you standing atop them, you must destroy this world. It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die, to rest, to save the world from yourself, to accept, to become his prophet in any disobedient subject to his lash. I obey, Father. This world will be eviscerated. My chosen, my slayer, violence incarnate, you will become a testament in blood. Go, child. <laughs> Careful what you do with that thing. <laughs> Forgot you were here. Fall in line. We leave now. I shall use the stone well, I promise. No. Fall in line. Unease fills the Baal Temple's stagnant air. Damn. 1,000 experience. Let's go. Oh, yes, this sick dagger. Finally, it's mine. The rightful heir. <clears throat> you can combine the infinity stones. So, we have the final stone. I need to see it for myself. energy permeating you pulling you in line with their rhythm the thrum quickens rising cresting on a single feeling a location a morphic pool beneath the city itself so that's where the chosen imprisoned the brain why would they put it there to conceal it one would imagine and to maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. Do you think we are ready to face the Elder Brain? With the stones in hand, and the Chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. Well, as long as you have hope. <laughs> we should go back to the Undercity docks. When we reach the pool, we will find the Brain and we will end this in death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The Brain will be waiting for us. Brain, brain, brain. 
See ya. Can't believe we pounded that. Stay successful. Orin's gore pile. And we can speak to Minthara. Return of the Balspawn. Quest completed. Oh, what is this? Crimson Mischief. A 9 to 20 damage legendary weapon. Prey upon the weak. This weapon can deal an additional 1 to 4 piercing damage against targets with 50% of their hit points or fewer. Redavan Savagery. When you make an attack with advantage, the target takes an additional 7 piercing damage as well as. This is only a one-handed weapon as well. We also got the Bloodthirsty Dagger, Orin's Legendary Dagger, Improved Criticals. The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by 1. We also have the True Strike ability, gain advantage on your next attack roll for 2 turns. Creatures hit with this weapon receive vulnerability to piercing damage, which means they take twice as much damage from certain damage types. And you'll be using this one in your offhand, which allows you to use True Strike Repost. So when a creature misses you, you get to hit them. We also got the Ring of Murderous Opportunity. Formless, unsettling dread fills any normal folk that don this ring. The transpositional magic thrumming within wishes to be used by only one specific scion of murder. I'm gonna put the ring on, see if it uh, changes anything, and then let's talk to Minthara. We have the altar key, so we should be able to free her. Orin, where is she? Not dead by another's hand, I hope. When she took me, I did not think I could survive again. Thank you. I owe you everything. You do indeed. If there is anything left of her, burn it. I do not trust her to stay dead. I need to leave this place to recover. She left scars on me that will never heal. Damn, and Thara got shook. There you go. Let's talk to Shadowheart about being the Lord of Murder. You accepted Baal after everything we've been through. I can only hope this is part of some clever scheme I'm not privy to. Otherwise, you might as well have stayed with the Absolute. How dare you, you, you double standard. You murdered your own parents, you. Look at her, she can't handle it. Look how mad she, oh my God, she's so mad. I want to talk about our relationship. Of course. May I have a kiss? Just the one. <laughs> the Lord of Murder. <laughs> Stained in blood. Fantastic. I want to talk about everything that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up to your estimations? No notes. You've exceeded my every expectation. Yes. Even if I could have made it this far without you, I don't think I'd have wanted to. Oh, very good. Very good. Let's let's see what Gale makes of this. It's no small thing to be our God's chosen. Whatever life you once claimed to lead, it only follows from now on. While Baal leads, you will be forced to go. You know this for yourself, of course. So, was there some other matter you needed to discuss? He knows exactly what he's talking about. And Astarian will definitely understand. The child of Baal. I'm glad Papa has blessed our dirty little plot. <laughs> Oh, we've got to go to camp now and Moving see what Lazel says. Come Let's up. speak to these Baal Reapers. And thus, Baal's bloody favor passes to another. Congratulations. Congratulations. The challenge Lady Orin was bold. To slay her even bolder. I look forward to your instruction, my liege. Well, I'm going to kill everyone. Truly a magnificent display of brutality. I expected nothing less of one of Baal's children. Very good. Very good. Oh, one sec. Can we go into Baal's altar room? Ho, ho, ho. The river of blood. Beautiful. Oh, below. From bonds free. No more. And I respond. Liberators, saviors, pawns, dupes, fools, released, usefulness, ended, targeted, killed, 
death. Unavoidable. Did you guys, can we talk to our followers about that? Oh, wow, okay. The Elder Brain's kicking off. I think it's over there, boys. Is that an earthquake? I think so. Baal rejoices in your ascension, Chosen. As do I. Good, good. You shall be a worthy... Is this my bed? Nice. Bleed. Burn. Choke. Maim. For you. For Baal. Kill them all. Okay, cool. Orin's bed. This should be my bed. Why is it her bed? Test mission with Gortash. Envar Gortash has informed me that one of our family ancestral torture racks we thought long lost, those of the make first crafted by Brother Elar, no less, are now on display in the Gates Hall of Wonders for all the unwashed Baldarian public to gawp at. I shall savage the museum's guards fighting along with this chosen of Bane and restore the racks along with the bones of little brother Troop so tastelessly presented in a glass cabinet. If they think that the Barless are some tourist attraction, we will give them a show and it will be the perfect test of this supposed chosen metal in combat. And some jewelry. Open and up. there's also a wooden chest, which I guess I can open with the key. No, a star I don't know why uh, Shadowheart's so low on health, actually. We needed 20 to unlock it. We got 23. Blood envy for the unworthy. Oh, my stupid slaughter kid. How many thousands will you mutilate before you learn to make their blood spill worthy of father's altar? You deceived your god with these mindless flayings in our temple. No, my temple decays because of it. It can't be so. It mustn't be so. The faithful of Baal must be worthy of his name. One who serves him and only him. If you insist on shouldering the yoke of these other so-called chosen, then I will craft you a better one, a worm to make you mindless as the altar meets you butcher. And I will restore this temple to Baal's true image, a glorious vision built atop your festering corpse. So that was Orin's plans. And we have some poisons there. And what is a experiment on Crewer. Father sent a butler to fawn over me. I'm not my mind-mangled bloodkin. I need no coddling. I will send it back to him, entrails and all. Not again. The wretched minion has returned, singing my praises over the way I slaughtered it. If it craves death, then I will give it a lingering one. Its screams will silence father's concerns. Again, again, this praise-poxing creature comes back to me. If it will not leave me be, I will make something beautiful of it. An effigy stuffed with the flesh of every other butler in this city. Father will see I need no instruction, no inspection. Nor does any true chosen of Baal. Over she wasn't a true chosen though, was she? So the orange chest key is just here anyway. And there's a manifesto on the uh, counter. Written on lengthy parchment, the document has fetid metallic odor. Manifesto. Orin, called the Red by the Shala, daughter of Helena, granddaughter of Sarah Vok Anchev, will vow in the name of Baal, my lord of murder, to serve his unholy will. I shall become an incartation of slaughter, and the pain and humiliation inflicted upon his temple by the ignorant masses of Baldur's Gate shall be repaid a thousandfold. This do I swear, attest with my own heart's blood. Orin's mother Helena. Beautiful, look at that. Interestingly, from the main entrance, if you actually come up here, there is a secret hole that you can get through that goes back into the bedchambers of Orin. Potential assassination option on a good playthrough. Now we have paid homage and become our murder lord's chosen. We can head back into the Undercity ruins and camp and meet Mathara. I want to speak to Lazelle and see if she has anything to say before we speak to Minthara about us being the Chosen. Lord Baal's Chosen. You must think yourself mighty for it. Yet, you are already mighty. And you would have been mightier still if you defied him and your urges. Oh, disappointed is she. A glush, not happy. All right, let's chat to Minthara. As you approach Minthara, you feel her mind reaching out to yours, tentative and curious. Then it retreats, soft as a whisper. Sorry. Old habits. I felt you peering into my mind. What are you hoping to find? A feeling. 
When we first met, before Moonrise, I intruded on your thoughts without hesitation and took what I needed from your memories. I would not do that again, unless I had reason to think you were hiding something from me. And I do not. I did not think we would ever share anything more than an uneasy alliance, born of our mutual enmity for the Absolute. I was wrong. A deeper bond has grown between us. I trust you. But I would like to touch your thoughts again, now that my mind is my own. May I? Why all the sudden interest in my thoughts? Curiosity. Until my time in the Cult of the Absolute, I had spent little time on the surface, except to raid and pillage. I did not expect to find any outside the Underdark who saw the world as I do, and wanted from the world what I want. I did not expect you. You're rather special yourself. I have been told that I am special since my mother first held me in her arms. The burden of expectation. Before the Absolute, I lived a life of certainties. I knew that I was destined for greatness because I was born to it. I also knew that my inherited privilege came with a cost. That the bonds of fellowship and family could be broken by envy and ambition. I could not enjoy the taste of food for fear of poisoning. And I could not enjoy the company of lovers and friends because I feared they hid knives behind their smiles. In spite of the danger, I was happy. I knew myself, and I understood the world around me. Now, nothing is certain. Without Lolth, without the Absolute, without my home, I do not know myself. But you do, I think. Show me myself through your eyes. Let me see what I am to you. Open your mind. Let her in. Mind crush. She joins her thoughts with yours, and you are as one. You share in her strength of mind and formidable will, but also the doubts that eat at her conviction. Those doubts cluster in swarms, and the thickest is around her sense of self. She pushes past, revealing the image of her you hold in your mind. What does she see? A lover, an ally, a <laughs> friend zoned in the, the harshest way, a survivor, a monster. <laughs> I was, I mean, it's just tempting to, to see what that would be. She's definitely a survivor. Let's say a lover. Shadowheart no longer wants us, boys. The cold shell of Minthara's mind melts away, and you are drawn into the heart of her. Warm, passionate, and dangerous. No. I've never lacked confidence, but this conflict seems so much bigger than the two of us. It frightens me. I do not know if we will survive it, but whatever life remains to us, I would gladly spend it fighting at your side and lying with you at night. There is nothing I want more. Her mind touches yours, feather light and hesitant. A stark contrast to the confidence with which her thoughts intruded on yours in the past. Tonight, there will be no voices, no orders, no gods. I belong only to you. I see. Orin is dead. You have your vengeance. One part of it. A smaller part than I had hoped. Revenge is not sweet. And you sound disheartened. You know me well. Orin could make herself a mirror to anyone she met. A perfect physical replica, down to the slightest blemish or imperfection. It was only the surface that she imitated, though. The skin and the muscle and the bone. <sighs> Peel back the surface, and her madness lay beneath. She could not hide that, no matter what form she took. No matter how perfect the surface imitation, few would see themselves reflected in Orin's madness, in her soul. 
I did see myself there. A broken version of myself, but recognizable nonetheless. And of course, you saw yourself there too. She was your sister, after all, bound to you by Baal's blood. But I am nothing like her, and neither are you. You're almost as sadistic as she was. You could be part of my family too. I am nothing like her, and neither are you. What was I when you first knew me? Before you ever knew me? A mad woman, butchering prey in the name of a god who would discard me without a thought once I was no longer of use. Baal, Loth, the Absolute. They do not have followers, they only have victims, and they reward devotion with death. It is only because of you that I did not meet the same fate as Orin, lost to madness and blood. If you had killed me when we first met, I would have been just one more casualty of your crusade against the Absolute. And nobody would remember me. Oh, Minthara. Damn. Oh, you know there is a darkness within me. I have learned its origin. Tell me. Or show me. My mind is open to you. Connect your mind with her and show her every grotesque thought and deed in full gory detail. <laughs> Exposed to the limitless horror of your dreadful imagination, Minthara's mind buckles, snaps, and then burns hot. She absorbs every detail, whether memory or dream, and drinks deep of them. You sense a desire in her equal in strength to your darkest urge. Elghor, Duktak, Slayer. There are many names for you, and all of them inspire dread. You are exquisite. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that reaction. She's turned on by it. <laughs> so are you. I know. <laughs> Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. It is already living up to the legend. I know. Tell me about your home. From the still dark waters of Lake Donegarten to the black academies of Tearbresh, it is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. Why can't you go back? For my people, to reject Lolth is to reject life. I am an apostate and would be executed. Though I am proud, I prefer exile to death. What was your life there like? I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainry. I lived a life of privilege and danger. My home was at the tallest point of Kuel Arzol, the place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface. And I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. What? I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself. And I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. What? That sounds bizarre. I feel like I need more context. She's still alive? I expect so. If the world were to end, I think my mother would survive to rule over the ruins. <laughs> she taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted. Literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. We can also ask her about Raphael's deal, Gortash. Ask her about Raphael's deal. I do not want a devil to hold my fate in his hands any more than a god. Makes sense. I say we put the devil from our minds 
and trust in ourselves. If anyone should have the power of the crown, it should be us. Yes. All right, let's get ready for bedtime, boys. Scleritus is in our camp. <gasps> My fondest congratulations for your work in the temple. Well done, well done indeed. On this eve, Scleritus gazes upon perfection. You shall be a graven god, my demiurge. All you must do now is heed your father's advice when the time comes. Yeah, you turned into bow. How did you survive? Survive? I did not. It was my favorite death yet. As he does each time I expire by your side, Baal has sent you another loyal Skeleritas to watch over and adore you. I shall bring a bloody storm upon this city in Baal's name. In the carnage to come, you shall reach the peak of your holy magnificence. It won't be long, my lord. It won't be long. <laughs> Jesus. Your command is my wish. Your demand is my desire. I have some questions. Ah, inquisit me. Uh, what do you wish to know of? My past. Ah, my favorite subject of conversation. Can I ever get my memories back? My lord, you are the hero of a sad tale. You do not have a charm placed upon you to clear your memory stores, nor an enchantment befuddling you. Or in dug, or in scooped, or in dissected. Your brain is damaged forever. Uh, but don't fret. <laughs> I still think you're very clever, despite your <clears throat> little problem. <laughs> and you tell me the worst thing I ever did. Uh, there was one time you gave a beggar some coin while we were en route to the devil's fee. <laughs> Tragic. You didn't kick him or spit on him or anything. I, I was so shocked I almost fainted. I still have nightmares about it to this day. But I'm sure you only did so to lower the suspicions of the flaming fist. Surely. Did I live my whole life in the Temple of Baal? Ah, uh, Orin was born and raised in the temple, but you spent many years on your own before you found your way back home. Hence, you have such diverse talents. But you were awful from the very first day you set foot amongst the Ichord altars. And here was my mother if Baal was my father. Ah, Baal gave out all of his seed long ago, in the time of Saravok. You were not conceived. Baal sculpted you from a drop of his own gore. No Baal spawn has ever borne the urge, the holy guarantee of murder. It was woven into your blood alone. Orin was not special. <laughs> she was but a grandchild of an aged Baal spawn, a mere weed of Baal's loins. <laughs> I see. That's how it is, though. Ah, inquisit me. Uh, what do you wish to know of? Tell me about yourself. Oh, no. There are far more important matters at hand. Uh, but if you must waste time thinking of your butler, I will attend to your curiosity. He wants to talk about himself, doesn't he? What exactly are you? I am but a table scrap of Baal's will. He will send me to aid and protect you until you have need of me no more. <laughs> as long as there have been Baal spawn, there have been butlers. But Baal only makes them for the children he has use of. Damn. Now, as you as the last true recipient of your father's blessing, I suspect I am the last living butler. Wow, that's interesting. Have we always been together? Yeah, I was sent to guide you to your birthright on the day my vile lord reached his age of majority. I hope we will stay together always. <laughs> and how did you end up serving me and not Orin? Me? Serve Orin? Oh. Ah, I should be sick. Oh. Fetch <laughs> the bucket of Baal. Oh. Oh. Orin had her own butler who she insolently killed on his first visit, claiming she didn't need him to follow Baal. Oh, poor Clua. Never stood a chance. The only way for a butler to die is if we are not of use to our master. But you 
have always needed abundant assistance. Yeah, sounds about right. Ogla smash. Ah, inquisit me. Uh, what do you wish to know of? And tell me of my future. Ah, my favorite subject of conversation. Bao told me that I will rule. How do I achieve that? Mm. Your tedious sister believed she was ending you when she drilled the wee tadpole cavern in your head. You were merely reborn with a silver spoon in your brain. Mm. The first to be tadpoled. The first above all men. I hope you are taking advantage of the worm. It will lead you to rule. Will my urges grow stronger now Baal has such a hold over me? You and the urge are wedded now. One body, one mind. Very cool conversation that we have there. And now Seems I think we can enough. go to bed. Having nice mind smash with Minthara, I guess. Tolerable. And we're awake, but no Minthara scene. So that's weird. Why is Shadowheart smoking and black? So, I gather your affections have drifted elsewhere. Curious. Curious? Oh, <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> you know, hmm. I didn't realize it was possible to be so cordial with a former flame. I suppose I'm lucky. Did you want something? Wow, she took that really well, damn. I'm impressed. See you later, Shadow Fart. Cast off. Now we're gonna head back to the murder tribunal and tell them the good news. Here we are. I'm home, brothers. You return, taint blessed kin killer, having committed the holiest of sins. Yes. Your despicable sister lies dead, and your chosen body bathed in her blood. Gone a flex before my divine body, for I am Baal's new chosen. You are so full of promise. The perfect chosen. I almost hate to bring a challenge upon you. Baal's will is absolute. The strongest of his bloodline will be chosen. A spawn who kills a chosen must then become chosen themselves. I knew he'd betray us. You have done me a great service, child of murder. In eliminating Arin, you have cleared the way for me. With your death, I will prove myself on you. It is father's way. You don't have a hope in hell of defeating me. <laughs> but what a treat. Just like your granddaughter was gargling on her own blood. My aching bones in this husk still feel every spark of pain from the crystalline moment of my first death in the temple. Let us die, Chosen, as only Baalspawn can. Oh boy, we are compromised in this position. This place shall be your grave. Minthara is only level 9, let's use charm on him. Please work. Oh dear. He's level 16, he's like double Minthara's level. Okay, well, Minthara's gonna die. I guess it. Sonic Backlash. Oh no, you don't. Battle spawn essence. When when it dies, Severok will absorb his essence and deal maximum damage on all of his attacks. Oh my god. Okay. Let's use Blade of Thorns right here. Oh my god, did I just kill Minthara's dead? Rip. Shadowheart wants that freesome. 20 damage. Ooh. Okay, we got 18 damage back on her. That's good. We all save the slow effect, thank God. Minthara's dead again. <laughs> oh no. Let's use Arcane Battery and then... Nice. So Gale can back away here. Let's get Uglas to jump over. And assist. Okay, I still got hit by Blade Barrier. That's annoying. Oh, I don't have a two-handed weapon. Whoops. Wow, okay. Wow, he's still going. He's still going. What's he doing now? He's always raging. Oh my god, they're buffing him even more. We missed. Great. Hill Minthara then. Oh, hello. Oh, she keeps getting instant killed by the wall of blades, I think. There's nothing we can do. We can get three of them in this ice storm. 
let's just attack this guy oh we got a crit i don't want to use the crit yet though so he's dead which means this guy's empowered so i'm going to use my branding to my level three 55 percent chance to hit him Ooh, not bad end turn Okay, let's throw a health potion. We can hit all three of them. Yes, nice. Okay, well, it actually missed our glash, but at least they're up again. We could try mass healing. Minthara has soul branding. She can use that on Uglash to buff him. Let's do branding weapon again. We've only got a 20% chance to hit. Let's just try searing smite. Oh, we missed. Try again. Oh, we got a crit. Wow, that is insane damage. E these dual weird daggers are just nuts. Probably not. Probably better. Probably better to keep Uglash with a two-handed weapon, though. Okay, here we go. Come on, Shadow Heart! Oh my God, come on, Shadow Heart! Dude, how did she survive that onslaught? Then I'm gonna level five heal myself. 18 health. Level 6 Scorching Ray. 25% chance to hit. One of these will hit. Two of them hit. Are you serious? I mean, maths, that's fair enough. Enter. Let me strike. Minthara, you have a 15% chance to hit. I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe use Cure Wounds on Shadow Heart to keep her alive. If I can hit one of these attacks. Oh. Oh, yes, Bulwark Rebuke. Come on. Oh, he saved the bash. Shadowheart only has a 5% chance to hit. Can we at least bless? And I'm going to bless Gale because he's got a higher chance of hitting. And then just heal yourself again. Going to go another Scorching Ray. 35% chance. Yes. Defeated. Uglush Smash. Seravox Horned Helmet, Deathbringer's Sight. You gain dark vision up to a range of 3 meters or 15 meters if you already have it. The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by 1. Dauntless, you can't be frightened. You cannot be afflicted with other emotion altering conditions. And we get plus 1 to con saving throw. Sword of Chaos, 9 to 22 damage. On hit, regain 1 to 6 health and then the Arbitrator's Key. Don't know what that actually does. I guess Don't this throne room is mine. So from the Temple of Baal, we now need to go and confront the Elder Brain. With all three nether stones in our possession, it is time to go to the Mortheric Pool and face the Elder Brain. We should head to the sewers. So I will have the final episode out as quickly as I can make it. Please do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed today's episode. Honestly, like this game is absolutely incredible. And now Larian Studios has added Minthara's lost dialogue back into the game. I feel like she's become a much more complete character. Actually commenting on some of the events going on in Act 3, making it feel just overall more complete. And it's amazing that a studio would put so much effort into a character that is probably going to die in most people's playthroughs who usually pick all the good outcomes but to be able to experience a really rather deep character in this playthrough is pretty amazing so guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one can't believe we're almost at the last episode